because I also think it's possible to look chic on the beach, even if you're like sitting there covered in sunscreen and sweating. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another try on haul. My name is Jenna, if you guys are new here and I have a Revolve haul for you guys today. Um, this is the second one that I am doing in the past like couple weeks and I am gearing this one more toward like a vacation vibe. So if I end up uploading this one before my next one, then that will make a lot more sense. So this one's either coming before or after the other one, but I'm filming both of them. We are gonna go through some really cute stuff today. I have some color, I have some swimsuits, I have all that kind of stuff. Basically, it's my capsule collection for a vacation, if that makes sense. So I can't wait to show you guys these pieces. You're probably gonna be surprised at a couple of them because as I said, we do have some color in here, but everything is very much down my alley of like a feminine, Kind of like resort wear kind of vibe and i'm so excited to share this stuff with you guys so if you guys are not subscribed already make sure you do that and we'll jump right into this pair of shoes and we're starting with these because i have already worn them and i don't want to put them on my bed and i don't want to keep them anywhere near this vicinity because you guys know how dirty the streets of new york are <laughs> so i have these orange heels from super down and I like that I actually wore these already because I can report back to you guys of whether or not they're comfortable or if I had any issues with them and no issues whatsoever. I have very wide feet. So if a heel was going to bother anybody, it would definitely bother me. And these were so comfortable. I went out to dinner and then went to a couple of bars afterwards and was dancing and walking. We didn't even take Ubers from place to place. We were just walking because they were all in like a similar vicinity. but. I walked a ton, I was dancing in them, like basically everything you would need to do in a pair of heels. I tested them out for you guys, so they are amazingly comfortable. I love that they're orange because they add a little pop of color. So if you're someone who doesn't really wear color, shoes or a bag are a really good way to just throw in a little piece of color there just to make the outfit a little bit more fun for summertime. I wore these with a pair of light wash jeans and a little top that I'll show you guys in a little bit, and I loved that the shoes coordinated with the top, but if you're someone who just likes to wear neutrals, you can definitely wear like a white top and jeans and put these on and you automatically look really cute and colorful for summer. I was kind of surprised that these were a suede material because it is summertime. Actually, they're a little bit velvety, but that just made them all the more comfortable and I highly recommend these. They're from the brand Super Down, so they're a little bit more affordable and I actually really love this kind of like modern look on the heel too. So love these great way to start it off but now i can put these on the ground and not have to worry about them getting anything else dirty okay so getting into the clothes i'm going to start with a little swimsuit and i liked this material or i was drawn to this one because it reminded me of like the hunza g material and i don't really <laughs> have the money to spend on a hunza g so i decided to go for this one because it was a similar um feel and look to the fabric. So I picked up this bathing suit and it's in this square shaped top. It has an adjustable back, which I love. And this material, you guys, is literally so stretchy. It's just really, really comfortable. I did pick these up true to size, but if you are like in between sizes, that's the amazing thing about something like this is that it's really like accommodating just in case you size a little bit too far up or down and I just love this neckline. I think it's so flattering and I don't have any swimsuits with a square neck. I mainly just have like dresses and things like that. And so I really wanted to pick up a swimsuit in that version. The quality of this is also really, really great. So I have shopped at Victoria's Secret for the better part of my life for swimsuits and then they took away their swim line and now I don't shop there anymore. And I think they brought it back and I just wasn't into it. And then I was kind of like digging around in other brands to see if there were ones that had like the similar price range, but weren't gonna be like crap. <laughs> and this one is definitely like, you're getting your money's worth when you buy this one and the matching bottoms, let me just tell you, make it even more worth it. So these are high-waisted, again, really, really stretchy, and they have a good amount of coverage on the back. So it kind of looks like it gets very narrow at the bottom, but that's just the part that kind of like goes underneath you and they're so comfortable. I tried everything on before I'm showing you guys this stuff. And if I haven't already worn it, then I definitely tried it on. And they're just the most comfortable bathing suit ever. Like if you're on the beach 
and you're at a resort or something and you're ordering lunch and you're just like pigging out on the beach, I think it's really nice to have the option to have a high-waisted bottom just because it makes you feel a little bit more confident and it's a little bit more coverage. So I also absolutely love that this is like a very, you know, straight minimal line top and then you have a little bit more material just to make it look more chic because I also think it's possible to look chic on the beach even if you're like sitting there covered in sunscreen and sweating. <laughs> And this is another piece that I have that will help you achieve that look. So this is, so all these pieces are from Tula Rosa, um, the swimsuit and this little cover up. So I got a little sarong because I don't own any sarongs, which I think is kind of weird. I have like caftan kinds of cover ups where they're just like big flowy, like maxi kind of style. And because this is such a good like bralette style top, I figured I would pick up this sarong to wear with it because you guys know I love black and white, and I just also think that because that top is like a good amount of coverage and it's like a very significant like weighted fabric that I could wear it on its own and just have the sarong on the bottom. And this one is the perfect length. I love that it's kind of like adjustable in the sense that like whether um, you tie it tight or looser, you can have it like sit low waisted or high waisted. I personally like to wear it high waisted, but if you're someone that's like into the low waisted trend right now, then you have the option to like make it adjustable to fit whatever you guys want it to look like. And I love the little ruffle on the bottom too. I think it's such a cute little detail and perfect for the beach. So I will definitely be bringing all three of these pieces with me when I go to Florida soon. So I should basically already put these in a suitcase, but I brought my suitcase home. So that's kind of impossible. <laughs> Moving on to the next top that I kind of told you guys about. And is this? No, it's not tied. So I picked up this very colorful top and I have told you guys a million times that I have a little void in my wardrobe of dinner tops and like going out tops and things like that where it's, I really just have bodysuits and like crop tops that I wear with a blazer over it or something like that. But in the summertime, I wanted shirts that I could just wear on their own, not have it be a fuss, but also like interesting enough that it kind of makes a whole outfit because in the summertime when you're not layering, it's like important that the pieces that you do wear kind of have enough detail and have enough pattern or color or whatever it is. So that's the reason why I picked this one up. And guys, just everything about it, this is from Lovers and Friends. It has a little tie in the front and that's the only way that it secures, but there's no like curtain kind of effect. Like there's no gap in the center there. So it's fully covered and it's kind of like a deeper V I would say, but these straps are adjustable, which I think is a beautiful thing. If you're someone that wants to like be a little bit more covered, or if you don't mind, if you have like tiny boobs like I do, and you can have like a little bit more of a deep V, then you have that option to adjust it. And then it just has this gorgeous ruffle along the V-neck line, and then it goes down into this tiered peplum. And I love pieces like this for the summertime, especially in dresses, like having a tiered dress as like a wedding guest dress. That's like so specific, but you guys know what I mean. Just having like this very like frilly and flowy tops are perfect. And I wore this to dinner at Little Frankie's and stuffed my face with pasta. And because it has this tie here and that's like the only restriction, it's just like everything else just drapes and it's super comfortable and perfect for summer nights, especially when it's still pretty hot out. So absolutely love this one and highly recommend it. I know that I'm gonna wear it a ton. And since I got this toward the end of summer, I know that next year I'll be able to wear it with like cream color jeans and cut off shorts and all that kind of stuff. So tons of different ways you can wear this. I also think that linen pants would look amazing with this, but yeah, I mean, I just told you guys like seven ways how to style that. So I feel like it's gonna be a really versatile top considering the fact that it's like colored and patterned. Okay, and then going into the last item of this haul, I picked out this dress because, I mean, none of my friends are getting married right now, but I'm having a feeling like I'm going to be turning 27 soon and I feel like a lot of my friends are in like, you know, committed relationships, people are like very close to getting engaged and I just know that I'm going to need occasion dresses and for me, I'm the type of person that if I find something that I really love, I get it at that point. I don't wait until I have an event and then be frantically searching for an outfit to wear to that event and normally I don't really buy outfits for specific events anyway, but I saw this dress and I was like, that is my exact definition of like a wedding guest dress and that's why I picked it up because I was like I'm gonna have to go to events like this at some point and it would just be nice to have an item like this in my closet already and just not have to worry about it when the time comes 
and my sister's also like she's 29 and all of her friends are getting married so it's just nice because we're all the same size and we can like cycle through and everyone can kind of get some use out of it which is really great but this dress is so so gorgeous i am obsessed with it first of all my favorite color is pink so it's like this azalea pink color which i fell in love with and i also was obsessed with the sleeve detail so it just looks so nice and like fun and cute but because it has like this little ruffle here it brings a really nice detail to like the upper body and then it goes into this kind of like kind of gathered um section right here and then it has these two like strappy pieces that go up and around your neck so you guys probably can't tell right now but when i have it on you'll be able to see the shape of it and how gorgeous it is and then it goes down into a midi style length and it looks a little bit shorter on the model and my sister was like that's such an awkward length it's not even like past her knees and i was like this model is probably 5 11 and i'm 5 7 so i have a good four inches for this to actually look like a midi dress on me and it does so happy to say that you know i'm not always right but i was right in this circumstance and it just comes down to a beautiful length the fabric also has this kind of like i need to steam this a little bit but i'm going to actually shoot in it in a, a half an hour <laughs> so it has like some crinkles in it right now but it has this like texture to it also which i think is really nice and just adds some like fullness to the design of it and i would definitely pair this with nude heels i just don't have any so that's a little complicated, but I'm sure I will get a pair at some point by the time one of my friends gets married. But just to show you guys, I do have these cork heels, which is a lot more casual than I would like for something like this. But just to show you like the color combination of having like a nude shoe with something of this tone, just because I feel like white is a little bit too much of a contrast, but to be honest, that would work too. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this one. I wanted to kind of like save the best ones for last. Obviously I love a good classic bikini, but this one and the floral top are really some of my favorite pieces that I've picked up from Revolve like ever. And I'm just so excited to wear them. But I will be styling all of this stuff over on my Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me over there. Especially since if you guys have any questions at all about anything that I've showed you guys in the haul about like sizing or how to wear things or if you need any other suggestions, then you can send me a DM or leave a comment here and I would be happy to help you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and got some summer or like end of summer inspo. I will probably be bringing all of these pieces on vacation with me. So stay tuned for those looks on the feed and I hope you guys will subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video.